I'm sure that'll happen, and I'm sure this will happen. <laughs> Another night. It's day five of the 12 days of Christmas. Already. Yeah. Day five. Every night, Dave's showing us a fabulous light display in our region, and uh, he wears a fantastic new scarf every night as well. All right. <laughs> Dave, this is quite the light show out there tonight. <laughs> My goodness. This is crazy. I think this probably has the most dense concentration of lights on one property that mm -hmm. I've seen in a while. We'll officially call it a Griswold. Look at that back there. I mean, it is super saturated. I, I talked to Mike, and we'll talk more with him here in a little while, about the number of lights that are out here, but it's 80,000 of them. He's really stepped it up, though, because he's probably more like 90% LED, because the LED lights are getting so much brighter these days. Uh, so he's kind of getting away from the incandescence, and of course, that's knocking his power bill down quite a bit. So it is actually turned into uh, not only fun, full of energy, but not as energy drawing, if you know what I mean. So things are good here in the neighborhood. Where are we? We're out here on Kenneth Avenue. You can't miss it. I, I, I will give you the address later on, but you can't miss it because you just drive along and go, what's that? It's so bright. And again, Kenneth Avenue in Fair Oaks. Let's take a look at our temperatures right now, and then we'll talk a little bit about the weather and what we can expect as we get on into tomorrow, which is going to be a blustery day. So here we go, looking at our current temperatures. Pretty mild out here. For the most part, we're sitting there in the 50s, as you can see, up in the higher elevation, still in the 40s. Difference between yesterday and today, well, with the cloud cover here in the warm air advection, most likely we are. Yep, about the same in the northern San Joaquin Valley, but definitely warmer to the north. And as far as the winds, they're not quite picking up yet, but they will out of the south. We're going to get some gusts super strong tomorrow, maybe 40 to 50 miles per hour. That's why we have the wind advisory for the valley and the high wind warning there for the Sierra. Sierra gusts could be in excess of 100 miles per hour at the ridge. So we'll come back out here live. We're looking at beautiful lights again. Every square inch, not of the house, per se, I mean, of the yard too. Everything is covered out here. They're off the hook here at the Henke place. Let's take a look at our numbers from this afternoon. We should be averaging low to mid 50s. We were in the low to mid 60s, so it was definitely a walk on the mild side. Tomorrow we cool down a bit, and then as we roll toward the weekend, cold air gets in here. We'll only be in the upper 40s and look for morning lows into the 30s, the low 30s. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our California view. You'll see the cloud cover on the approach, and again, with the cloud cover on the increase, this is going to be leading to our wet weather event and you can see the moisture plume all the way down to the southwest there starting to try to get some radar returns up into the northwest corner of the state eventually they will get in here as we go overnight winds are going to pick up your morning commute tomorrow is going to be really dicey the afternoon drive about the same highs tomorrow upper 50s on into the low 60s so we will start to see some cooling so for tonight we're just kind of getting ready for things Winds should start to pick up just a little bit. Overnight lows are going to be, for the most part, pretty darn mild, only into the 50s, so we will barely drop. We may even just hover at these temperatures. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we'll be in the upper 50s to low 60s. It'll be wet. It'll be windy. Wind gusts here in the valley, 40 to 50 miles per hour. As far as the hour by hour goes, we're going to start out in the upper 50s and just hover that way all the way through with rain starting for the morning drive all the way into the afternoon commute and heavy rain out toward the foothills, and it will be a rain event up in the Sierra. So the big question is how are the lights going to fare as we go on through the next 24 hours? Well, out here, he doesn't have a whole lot of things that can blow away, but I think Mike's concerned about that. I think the plane may actually take off when you get about a 50 mile per hour gust in here. So it'll be interesting to see how it all comes together. We'll find out more about what it takes to put this light display on. And again, we are out here, Kenneth Avenue in Fair Oaks, the bright spot right along the, the road here. You just seriously can't miss. Well, the other bright spot is the Hanky family, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, they're nice. costumed up, and I think they're lit too. All right, back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> oh boy, Dave, thanks. Fun.